We want to turn now to explosive new details about what the Pentagon today described as a global surveillance program run out of China. U.S. intelligence officials say that that Chinese balloon shot down off the coast of South Carolina is part of a larger spying effort by the Chinese military that has been going on for years, spanning five continents. CBS's David Martin is at the Pentagon with an exclusive interview with Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin. The shootdown happened on live TV. Now, thanks to an amateur radio scanner, we know what the pilots were saying to each other. That is a big kill. The balloon is completely destroyed. This what appears to be metal shaft clouds, so I definitely see metal breaking apart. Immediately after the shootdown, Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin tried to call his Chinese counterpart to explain. I put in a request for a call, and, uh, and they did not accept that request. Speaking publicly for the first time about the Chinese balloon, Austin told CBS News his biggest worry was it would spy on U.S. nuclear forces located at bases across the country. All of our strategic assets, we were made sure that uh, we were, were buttoned down and movement was uh, limited so that we didn't expose uh, any capability unnecessarily. By strategic assets, you mean the, the nuclear force? Mm-hmm. It was part of a fleet of spy balloons based on the island of Hainan, which have been flying over the U.S. at least since 2019, when one circumnavigated the globe. There were three incidents uh, a couple years ago that uh, uh, balloons overflew uh, parts of the, of the U.S. Which parts? There were parts of Texas and Florida that the balloon flew over. In February of last year, a balloon was spotted over the Hawaiian Islands, and jet fighters scrambled to inspect it. Last week, this balloon was spotted over Costa Rica. Turns out Chinese balloons have been violating airspace all over the world, much of the time without anyone noticing, until last week when everybody noticed. Secretary Austin said the Navy has recovered the parts of the balloon that were on the surface and has mapped out the debris field of pieces of cameras and antennas that are lying on the ocean floor. He expects it will take days to bring them all up. Nora? David Martin with that exclusive interview. David, thank you.